Hey everyone, you've seen lots of videos where we use lots of slimy goo and slime like this, where we slime Elsa and we slime Jack Frost, and it's lots of fun. Now, have you ever wondered how you can make your own slime? Well, that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to learn a little bit about science and make slime. Now, it won't look just like this slime right here, but it's still going to be pretty cool. Again, we're going to make slime. And you can do it at home with things that you can probably find around the house. Let's make some slime. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is do seven tablespoons of water. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now this is like making something with the dinner. Maybe you work with your parents on making some food, but this is gonna be a lot like that. So we've got these mixing bowls and we've got seven tablespoons of water. Now we gotta use our first secret ingredient. Okay, our secret ingredient is called guar gum. And it's one of the things that they use in gum itself. We need a quarter of a teaspoon and we've got to put it in real slowly. So a quarter of a teaspoon, just like that and we got to put it in real slow because you don't want any clumps so we're putting it in slow and then we've got to mix it now do you have anything that you can use to mix I've got something I've got a play-doh knife so I'm gonna use this play-doh knife to mix it up and then I'm gonna put a little bit more in as I mix it now we've got to mix it for a really long time so we don't have any of the little white spots in there so we got to mix 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 so I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so we mixed in the guar gum. Now we've got to use something called borax. And that's what's going to actually make that gooey looking gummy stuff into slime. So we got to do one tablespoon of water and then one quarter teaspoon of borax. Okay, so that actually has to sit for a couple minutes. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to make another special goo. And this one uses glue of all things so let's try it now I can't wait to see what this goo is gonna look like both kinds so we're gonna do a tablespoon of white glue just like that and you know what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to take your finger and wipe it all off like that just get it all off there because the next thing you're gonna need is water so we got that now we're gonna add water and we're just gonna mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Look at that, nice and pasty, perfect. Okay, and we're gonna Now what we've gotta do is we've gotta take a bowl, and I've actually done this one already. I've done six tablespoons of water, so I put six of these tablespoons in, and then two teaspoons of borax and borax is the same thing that we used before now you have to be real careful with borax because otherwise it can actually maybe um, make your your skin irritated so be careful so we've got our solution with borax and water and we've got our glue and let's see what happens when we mix them now we've got to add two teaspoons of this into that so this is the borax and this is a quarter each so we got to do eight one two three Four, that's one teaspoon, five, six, seven, and eight. So we've got that. Now look at it. What do you think this is going to look like when we're done? Ooh, look, it's getting real sticky now, isn't it? Whoa. Now if you want to, you could add, actually add food coloring to this too. Now you got to be kind of careful with the food coloring because it might... It might stain on your hands, so that's why I didn't add it to this one. But look at this. Cool. Look, we added two liquids together and we made this slimy goo. And look at it. Whoa. Look at, watch, it, it, it's between my fingers, but then it goes back. It's almost like silly putty. And then watch, we'll bounce it. We'll roll it into a circle a bit. And look, we just made this. And sorry, Jack. You've been slimed. Oh, it feels so slimy. Just like that. But you know what? We've got to make our other goo, too. So let's make it now. Okay, so now we've got to add 
a half a teaspoon, which is going to be two of these of the solution, into it, and we've got to mix it up as we put it in. So it's one. Let's add another one. Look at that. What does it look like? It's already getting slimy. Now, if it doesn't get slimy enough, you know what we can do? We can add more. But look at that. Just like with the white, we're creating the super slimy goo. Wow. Now, this will have to sit for a few minutes and actually get so it can get fully gooey. But look. I think we're going to have to slime either Elsa or Jack Frost. Who do you think we're going to have to slime with this slime that we've, we're making here? Okay, so here we have it. Look at this slime. Oh, isn't it gooey? Look at that. Ah, oh, yuck. And we can always put that on Jack Frost whenever we want. Look at that. Now, it'll thicken up a little bit as time goes by. So kind of keep that in mind. Right now, it's a little bit watery, but we can make it thicker if we want. But isn't that just, wow, look at that. That's, and then we have the white slime too, right here. So we have two different kinds of goo. We have this glue, which is a polymer that we made from the glue. And it's really, look at that, look at that. it's super wiggly and squ And then we also have this kind of goo, which would, we would look like, which is more of a slime that we can slime Jack Frost with, and look at how yucky and disgusting this stuff is too. So there you have it. These are the different types of goos we have. Now, do you want to see more goo? If so, let us know. And please push right there for subscribe here so you can subscribe to our channel. Take care and tell me, do you like to play with slime and goo? If so, let us know. Bye everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please check out one of these other four super fun videos. Featuring Team Umazumi, Paw Patrol, Frozen, and even Scooby-Doo. Take care and have lots of fun.